Good morning. It looks like a lovely day. It was raining in the night, uh, but now the sun's out. It looks glorious. So let's go and enjoy the day. Um, today we're going to... Let me sit up on it. <clears throat> so today we're going to uh, Brixham Harbour, I believe it is. We're taking a walk down to uh, Brixton Harbour and the, the town. And behind me there, you can see the sea. Now I've been told this is a really steep walk down and a lot of people tend to get taxis up. But let's take a walk down and find out. There's a familiar face. Hello, Louise. So we've been blessed with quite well, a nice day today. It's a little bit windy, a little bit cloudy, and it's not as warm as it could be, but the sun is shining and we're in a great part of the world. So I'm looking forward to having a little explore round. I think they're right, judging by where we're going. Uh, not so much looking forward to the walk back up. We're just getting down to the harbour now and uh, it looks absolutely stunning. There's lots and lots of things to have a look at down there. So I'm really looking forward to getting down to the, the bottom and having a walk round. So behind me here is the Golden Hind. I'd love to be able to have a much closer look. So I'm gonna try and head over and see what we can see. The famous Golden Hind, but it's not the actual ship. Apparently it's a replica according to Louise and her extensive research. <laughs> On my phone. What else do you know about it? Anything else? <laughs> no. Okay. All right, well, it's still an extraordinary thing and I'm quite looking forward to trying to get a closer look at it. So, I mean, it's not, uh, it's not every day you get to see a piece of history, even if it is a little bit fake. So it tells you everything about the boat here. It tells you about Sir Francis Drake, the circumnavigation. Everything about it. I have to say, it's it's remarkably small. If it's a um, an exact replica, it's very very small, especially in comparison to today's ships. It's, uh, it was the largest at 120 tons apparently back at the time. Wow, that must have been incredibly challenging. 56 men, 56 men all living on that for however long it took, three years. 56 men, three years on that around the world. That's an extraordinary achievement and one that I have to say must have almost certainly been unpleasant a lot of the time. But can you imagine back then seeing the world, um, you know, in a pre-internet age and pre-travel age and it must have been incredible. We've just seen a pasty shop and even though we're not quite that far down in Cornwall, it still seems like something that we need to do. Uh, it's an award-winning pasty shop apparently and uh, I can just show you these. Look at that, they look fantastic. So let's go grab one and uh, see what they taste like. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> He's just made some like nom 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 noises before I could uh, get to uh, <laughs> the pasty. Right, okay. So, one extra large Cornish pasty. Looking forward to this. That was really nice. That was a good pasty. Uh, what was the name of the place? Fullest pasty. So if you're ever in Brixham and you fancy a pasty, there's a place to go. Oh, there we go. It's interesting, just walking past the shop window. And they've got a seal skeleton. Okay, mm -hmm. so we come away from the harbour now. We're in um well, I think it's Brixham High Street and it's such a contrast. So the harbour itself is absolutely vibrant, full of sort of tourists and people having nice times and coffees and ice creams and things. The High Street is, well, just like High Street anywhere else. There's 
lots of charity shops, lots of people. I mean, it's really weird because it's like peppered with all of these like seaside shops and um, and ice cream things and stuff. But in between that, there are lots of places to let, lots of charity shops. So it's very, very strange. They're literally a few hundred yards away from one another. So this is a sea wall behind us and it's got the lighthouse at the top. Uh, Again, it's, a, it's, a, it's an incredible little feat there. It's been a marvellous afternoon wandering around the harbour here. It's really, really attractive and pretty and uh, lots of really good things to see. All right, there's this great fish map we're going to have a look at. We found the beach. So this is Breakwater Beach and it's on the other side of the uh, harbour wall here. And it's a shingle beach. There's quite a few people here. It's got the cafes and a rather imposing building up there. Uh, I'm gonna take a wander across and have a little look. There's this big old bell here. I gotta try and make it ring. <laughs> uh, so we're sat now having a little five minutes. The walk around the harbour is uh, it's really really nice so we've gone around the harbour up and down the high street and things and, and now we're over at this uh, breakwater beach so it's all very nice but it's just a little bit a little bit much time to have a quick five minutes sit down and just appreciate the view i'm going to spin the camera around and show you what we're looking at it's a nice place to sit for five minutes so this is exactly what i'm looking at at the moment and there's a lovely little breeze coming off the water and it's a lovely, lovely day. It's a little bit chilly, but the sun's shining and it's really nice. This is a, um, a fantastic three ton anchor that apparently is found out in the bay. They don't know what ship it's from, but it's uh, the sense of scale on this is massive. So this is the boat that we're going out in. The Dolphin Princess. I've only gone and got Louise on a boat. We're off on a little um, a little sea trip. So looking forward to this now. In the distance there is the beach that we were sat on earlier on having a breeze. We're out on the boat now and, and just getting bearings of everything. So apparently they think they might have spotted some porpoises, so we're shooting off to see if we can see them. See the loop? Please stand clear of the bow. Please stand clear of the bow. She is learning and she will hit you if you are in the way. <laughs> Now it's ice cream time. So they got all different types in there. There's blue bubble gum and what else? Chocolate heaven and caramelized biscuit. Oh, there's all sorts. Uh, three scoop flavour. So this is turning into one of those days where we're just um, eating loads of lovely, really nice, tasty things. How's your ice cream? Very nice, thank you. Okay, good. There we are. You know, sometimes those campsite showers, they're very clean, they're very good. But there's nowhere to put anything, they haven't put any shelves or anything in, let me show you. So essentially everything's very clean, very tidy, but there's really not that much in there to put your clothes and things. But hey look, check this out. Here's my answer, it's a bungee cord. So I basically just hook it across the cup of the cubicle like that and now I can hang my clothes and things off it. So now look, all my nice dry clothes, they stay dry until I'm ready to put them on. There we go, all clean and shiny, ready for this evening. We've got a restaurant booked for this evening and it's this one, which is fantastic. Look at the view of that out all over the harbour. 
So I'm really hoping we get a nice seat. That's an incredible view to have lunch to. Um, apparently they do really, really good seafood. So I'm looking forward to this. Right, nearly in the restaurant. And that is the view out of the window with our table. And this is where we sat. Fantastic. It's the morning after the night before and the meal was fantastic. We didn't do any filming last night because, well, we just had a really nice time with the meal. The food was really, really good. We had a nice bottle of wine and, and then we got a taxi back. Now, I really do wish actually that I filmed some of this, but I didn't because we got a taxi back and we asked them to do a bit of a loop around the harbour and stuff to see everything lit up and see it at night time. And it was, it was really, really pretty. So we rounded off our evening after some fantastic food with this lovely trip around the harbour. Uh, the taxi driver was really great. He was chatty, local guy, gave us a fair bit of knowledge um, and then dropped us off. And that was it. So we've had an amazing day and evening in Brixham and highly recommend it. So now it's off to the next place. Let's get the van started up.